Imagine that it's a beautiful summer's day, and you decide that it's a perfect day to take your boat out on the water. When you get to the harbor, amidst all these other boats, somehow you can easily remember which boat is yours. Now, imagine that you've been out in the water for a few hours, and you decide that you should probably go back. But how do you know where back is? The first thing you're probably going to do is look to the coastline for any sort of presence or sign of where the harbor is, such as a lighthouse. And that will give you general information about your location relative to the location of the harbor. Now essentially what I've just described to you are two different types of memory. Long-term memory and working memory. More specifically, spatial working memory. Research has shown that both long-term memory and spatial working memory are processed in different parts of the brain. For example, spatial working memory is, can be localized to a specific region of the brain known as the hippocampus. This differs from long-term memory, as long-term memory is processed in many different brain regions. Now what would it be like to go someplace and forget how to get back? Or what would it be like to forget something that's been so familiar to you your whole life, such as a family member's face? This is the unfortunate reality for people who suffer from Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is one of the leading causes of death in North America, affecting millions of people each year, and currently there is no cure and only a few effective treatments. Research has shown that during Alzheimer's disease, neurons in the brain that are responsible for spatial memory and long-term memory degenerate and that degeneration becomes progressive, progressively worse over time. Now fortunately, a compound called Ubisol Q10 has the potential to treat Alzheimer's disease. Research has shown that Ubisol Q10 treatment provides protection for cell cultures that have been collected from patients with Alzheimer's disease. Previous research looking at Ubisol Q10 has only been done in vitro, which means in cell cultures. My research is going to be looking at the effects of Ubisol Q10 in vivo. What that means is that my research uses a transgenic mouse model of Alzheimer's disease to study how oral treatment with Ubisol Q10 affects memory using novel behavioral tests of spatial memory and long-term memory. The results have been very promising. We've been able to show that mice treated with Ubisol Q10 perform significantly better on tests of spatial memory and long-term memory compared to untreated transgenic mice. Additionally, performance on tests of long-term memory and spatial working memory does not differ between mice that have been treated with Ubisol Q10 and normal control mice. These results suggest that Ubisol Q10 provides significant cognitive benefits for Alzheimer's disease, and research should continue to study how the effects of Ubisol Q10 both affect cells in the brain and cognitive processes. Thank you.